beautiful. I'll take some piano lessons once I'm back in L.A. Miss St. Germain. Oh, you caught me. Nasty habit, I know. I smoke more when I'm stressed. Or when people die right outside my guest room. Are you my neighbor? We. Oui. I stay here, in the gothic suite. It's so exquisite and dramatic. A bit like me, I suppose. This is my fourth time on Esperanza. It's even featured in my upcoming memoir. How did you and Mr. Navarro meet? Well, if I recall correctly, our first conversation happened at a party hosted by a mutual friend. After that, we kept running into each other at all sorts of events. And somehow, over time, we've grown close. I dare say we even became friends. Sounds like my relationship with my cat. Oh, I miss my petite belle. She's staying at the Porsche's Kitty Hotel in Paris, and I'm her waiting servant. Oh, I should powder my nose before dinner. An occasion is still an occasion, no matter how grim. Sure. Nice talking to you, Miss St. Germain. Have you found a harmonica, Miss Pitt? Gracias. You have a good heart, Miss Pitt. Then nada. Just call me Carla. I hope you find peace. I hope Lucas finds it too. Margot's right. I should get ready for the dinner party. Phew! I'm unpacked and ready for Ruben's dinner party. All that's left is to put on my lucky necklace. Where was it? Damn, I need something to fix that chain. I need to find a tool elsewhere. If that... Hmm, maybe I can fix my necklace with these pliers. Work? Okay, I should use the mirror to put this on. And I'm ready. No pressure. I'll just go and meet some other big names in the dining room. Oh, Carla. I suppose it's rude, but I brought my phone to dinner. Look, at my little bed. Oh, she really is a beauty. If Aunt Portia wasn't allergic, I'd take this little fluff bottle to Esperanza. She's no trouble at all. Did you put her up in that five-star cat house? She's probably eating lobster right now. Cat house? Really, Jax? Dear guest, Mrs. Bird has taken Lucas's to heart. Yet she's soldiering on, and her dinner is worth the wait. Meanwhile, please, mingle and enjoy the refreshments. Well... Here's my chance to get scoop on some guests. Uh, we've had a date, but I ain't shaking hands yet. Jackson Trainer. You can call me Jax. Everybody does. I'm Carla Page. I hope you don't mind, but I'm crazy about your villain character in 11 hours. Hey, spoilers. I'm just kidding. I'm always happy to meet a fan, except when I'm hiding out at the ranch. So, uh, you're not one of the usual suspects. You know Ruben well? Fun fact, I only met him today. I'm here to write a profile on him. You don't say. Well, doesn't that just beat all? I hope you're not planning to dig up dirt on Reuben. He's good people. Oh, of course not. In fact, I was hoping you could tell me some Stanford stories. Maybe later, darling. Now's not the time. Oh, hello. It must be Carla. I'm Janet Lim. Oh my gosh, the author? I love your novel. I have a gazillion notes. Yikes. Listen to me, gosh. It's okay. What happened to Ruben's security man, though? Terrible, right? I can't bear the sight of blood. And you? I might have had a mild panic attack, too. You did? What a relief. I mean, not because you got anxious, but that it wasn't just me. Well, we have that in common, then. It's just... It's unlikely that a security guard could just trip and fall, you know? 
I don't quite follow you, Miss Slim. I wonder if somebody might have pushed Lucas, or worse. Wait, are you saying there's been foul play? I... Oh, my heart's racing again. Where's... Where's my inhaler? Hold on, Janet. It must be around here somewhere. Thank you, Carla. I... I just need a moment. A journalist, Ruben Soiree. What has become of this event? I'll be keeping an eye on you, Miss Page. Snooping for a story, huh? Hello again. I'm Catherine Bennett. We didn't get properly acquainted on the veranda. Dr. Cat! Of course! My little cousin watches your show every week. I'm Carla Page. Pleasure to meet you. Glad to hear the kids are into astrophysics these days. I think it's our duty to show them the wonders of the universe. Are you a friend of Ruben's? Sure. We go back a long way. I mean, we had there in the parlor. Had you met Lucas before? Indeed. He was quiet, but if you got him talking, you could see he was a bright young man. I'll miss our conversations. As head of security, Lucas must have been close to Mr. Navarro. Do you think they were friends? From what I saw, they shared mutual trust and respect. And isn't that the key to any friendship? Mrs. Bird will be serving the main course shortly. Take your seats, everyone. I apologize for the delay. Dinner is ready, but I'm afraid it's nothing too special. I smell garlic. What a treat. Sit down and eat with us, Mrs. Bird. Oh. I can't eat a single bite. Friends, I couldn't ask for better company to dine with. This visit will be your most memorable. I promise. Oh, yeah? Why they? Ruben, I, I don't... But first, let's raise a toast to Lucas Matonis, my friend and security chief. You always had my back. I wish I could have had yours. Godspeed, Lucas. That was beautiful, Ruben. Of course, you know there's nothing you could have done. Margot's right, Ruben. And he doesn't admit that often. Do you, Sam? Not if I can avoid it. No. You like to party, Portia? I know there's good stuff in that wine cellar. Call me Miss Frost. As for your proposition, no thank you. You're an attractive package, Mr. Wolf, but quite an empty one. Oh, ho, ho, Freddy, she's got your number, pal. Jax, could you not? What? Settle down, Jay. I'm just talking to my friend. Let's all just sit back tonight. There's a lot I'd like to show you this weekend. Ruben, we need to talk privately. The sooner the better. Of course, Admiral. We'll have lunch in my study room, and I'll be happy to... Oh. Oh. Ruben! Oh, dear God! He's breathing, but his pulse is weak. Oh, mon dieu! Ruben! What has happened to you? Check his airways up. It's clear. I don't think he choked. Does he have a heart condition? Not Reuben. He's as healthy as a whole team of horses. We all know how hard Reuben works. It might just be stress. We need to get Reuben into bed so I can run some tests. I thought you weren't that kind of doctor. Not exactly. I haven't practiced in years, but I do have a medical degree. Well, then stop talking and help him! Jax, let's get him upstairs to his suite. Can someone bring me the diagnostic kit from my room? I'll do it, Dr. Cat. It's the Starship Suite, right on the cliffside. Please hurry, Carla. Damn it! I forgot to ask where the Starship Suite was. But I could always...
a mess. Dr. Cat's room must be further behind that gate. Looks like Dr. Cat has already unpacked the kit. I need to cut the ribbon. I need to fix the tear. Lost your breadcrumb trail, Nancy Drew. Did you follow me all the way here, Freddy? Nah, just heading back to my room for a swig. It's so proud of there. This whiskey is epic. Maybe slow down a bit, Freddy. <laughs> Maybe worry about yourself, little girl. Charming. I'll leave you to it. I'd better hurry back to the mansion. Is this Ruben's study? His bedroom should be right ahead. Really? Is this a circus? Everyone who isn't a doctor, out! You're not in charge here, lady. I have it. Out! All of you! Portia, I need my kit. Carla was just bringing it to me. She can drop it off and go. Carla, could you scan Ruben vitals while I prepare the IV? Uh, how? Right, sorry. Just place a diagnostic kit near Ruben and set it up. I should try to monitor Ruben's blood pressure. I should... I... Okay, I think I've set everything up. I just hope Dr. Cat can help Ruben. Thanks, Carla. I'll take it from here. Let's give Dr. Cat space to work, people. Yes, please. I'll update you as soon as I know anything. Meanwhile, ask Mrs. Bird to bag up everything Ruben ate or drank tonight. Is there anything unusual about Ruben's condition? These symptoms came on so suddenly. I won't know until I look at the samples. Got it. I think Mrs. Bird is still in the dining hall. For now, just store the food somewhere cold. I need to focus on my patient. That's your cue to go. Everyone, leave. Is Ruben... He's alive, or he was when you left. Dr. Cat is trying to stabilize him. What's wrong with him? Hell, we know. Portia kicked us out and locked up Ruben's suite. I'm his best friend, damn it. I should be with him. 
You have every right to be by Ruben's side, Jack. Thanks, Carl. I, I just... I want to be there. He'd be there for me. Ain't nothing I can do, though. Not while the Ice Queen is standing guard. I wish you'd stop calling her that. I wish she'd take a one-way flight back to Sweden. I need a drink. Anyone for the club room? Count me in. Dr. Cat must suspect that Ruben's illness may not have been accidental. Maybe I should take a photo before anything gets moved. What's the matter, Miss Page? Dr. Cat wants us to collect samples of Ruben's dinner. Everything he ate and drank. Oh dear. Does she think the food made him sick? She says she just wants to be thorough. I hope you don't mind. Of course not, Miss Page. Whatever helps us get to the bottom of this dreadful evening. Great. I'll take care of the samples then. Nonsense, Miss Page. I won't hear of it. You're Ruben's guest. There is no shame in accepting a bit of help, Mrs. Bird. You've been through so much. And please, call me Carla. Well, if you're sure it's no trouble, there's a lunchbox in the kitchen. I'll grab it, Mrs. Bird. We're all in this together. <laughs> 